Hey guys, it's Phase One once again with another video. Today we got a patch watch for Star Citizen Alpha 3.17.2 with massive network improvements. Before we move forward, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd like to give a big thank you to my Patreon and channel members. All right, and without any further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now this is big. This is this is big, right? We're gonna talk about this, right? So um just today just a few hours ago they dropped the, the patch um the patch watch for 317.2 um as i said earlier as well as uh some mission box uh added to the mustang and more all right so let's just talk about this let's read this first this first part right here so actor downstream network improvements this is huge let's read it alpha 3.17.2 adds improvements to the actor downstream networking which vastly improves how players and npcs moves over the network the new system should provide much smoother motion and less jitter and unnatural movement along with improved start and stop um, with actors now playing the correct animation instead of tap dancing in addition, the new system deals with low variable frame rates from variable network conditions much more cleanly. There will be ongoing improvements to this system and further tuning um, will be done to various parameters in future patches. Guys, this is huge. This, this is huge. I don't know if you guys understand, right? They're putting things, they're putting fundamental features in place to prepare for a big Star Citizen Alpha 4.0 release, right? This is one of the foundational things that they're doing. They're improving in Star Citizen Alpha 3.17, right? They made, I think it was either 17 or 17.1. No, I think 17. Um, no, 17.1, they made improvement to the ship combat, the uh, the ship to ship desync, right? They fixed that, right? And then secondly, they fixed um in 317.2 coming along with this they're fixing the um the fps uh desync the remote player desync so if you're out in the farther distance and you see another player and you want to snipe them down you're actually going to see smooth uh movement instead of them desyncing throughout the travel right so that's huge that's huge in terms of you know gameplay wise in terms of immersion um so this is big and the fact that now they're adding this this actor downstream networking improvements so now this means smoother trend smooth animations um for players and npcs right so now just imagine this whole scenario where let's say you own a big ship like a carrick and you have an npc that you have hired and this npc is an engineer and then you're you're walking through the carrick and you see this npc just walk up to um just an area where he needs to work and then he squats and starts operating on something and that whole smooth transition of him doing that and 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 start and, and starting to work on whatever he's working on right that's gonna be just imagine the, the the level of immersion you'll have when you actually see smooth transitioning and and, and, and in terms of the animations in the game as well as for with players right so this is big man they, they they they're trying to clean things up for a big patch which is going to be a 4.0 release i know we got 3.18 coming in as well but i think they're cleaning things up to prepare for the big patch coming all right so that's why i'm really excited uh so let's, let's move on it says reduce floating rocks so they did uh environment um art performance uh, performed a general polish on planetary surfaces, um, including Damar and Yella tweaking asset scattering setting to reduce floating rocks and foliages. Okay. Um, so then this one, it says, uh, refueling fixes and adjustments. The system designer solved some refueling bugs before adding more depth. Um, here is a selection. So. Um, so yeah, so they, they're planning on adding more depth to the refueling mechanic, which they didn't mention before. So they're now, so it looks like they're trying to iron out some of these bugs related to it. So we're looking at um, fixing an issue with the Misc Reliance series 
to stop the ship from clipping into the, the fuel nozzle which this is i didn't know that this was actually happening ship paints will no longer change when refueling that's weird um, auto refueling now correctly indicates that a service is needed auto docking to the tank to the tank arm um, has been fixed across multiple ships disable the ability to quantum travel with the ship attached to the boom arm. that's hilarious <laughs> All right, so that's good. It's good that they've gotten this out, all right? So let's move on. Ships and weapon balances. The vehicle feature team integrated some balancing and adjustments. We turned the, va the Vangel blade to, a clo to be closer to the Aegis Gladius. The blade is slightly ahead of in terms of raw numbers, which is about 1G and is better in forward boost than the Gladius. However, the Gladius is better in lateral boost. Plasma cannons adjusted to 1400 uh, meters per second with greater capacitor cost to offset it. So it holds the same amount of uh, damage in energy magazines as the Gladius. Okay, so they're essentially making it competitive um, and closer to each other, but with slight differences. So you have um, reasons to pick a Gladius over a blade or a blade over a Gladius. Okay, so plasma cannons tuned um cannons uh turn to full energy damage distortion damage numbers are under review okay so now lastly they said that that the uh the mission box added to the mustang did you ever want to this is essentially their dave can you see this yes yes you can so they they essentially opened the uh cargo box to allow you to put boxes in there so now this is huge this is huge the community been we've been complaining about this right because because you couldn't put a box inside of the mustang we were not seeing the mustang as a viable starter ship because being a new player one of the main things that you'll be doing is box missions right so that completely knocked the mustang out of the way and everybody was just using auroras so now that they're adding this um it's 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 huge it's huge so now the mustang is viable just by adding this little thing right so um so essentially they're saying that it's it's not final the team has found an even better solution but um, alpha 317 2 you'll be able to open the mustang cargo box and place a mission box inside yeah so they're going to completely rework this entire thing but um for now we're just going to get it like this so this is awesome man so now i don't mind owning a mustang honestly with this fix you know all in all, you guys let me know your thoughts on some of the things that we spoke about. Um, all right, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you on the next one.